Well, it has a big impact. I mean, we're a tourist-driven town. The economy of this town relies on tourism. If you're forced to go to Kirkland Lake or forced to go to Rouen, you're going to pick up everything else too. so symptomatic of the way the province is going. I mean, if we want good jobs, we want services, right? we need to support them. This particular store in Lauder Lake made money, so I don't see why the government would choose to close it. Because what we're talking about here is not just the closing of another store. What we're talking about here is a way of life for people in the north. But we really have to put the pressure on Sousa and Premier Wynne immediately. Meeting all of you today, it just inspires everybody to get back at this and give it another push because there are other small stores in this province that could be hit and this will be an example. Once we're in Kirkland Lake or in, in Quebec, we might as well pick up our groceries that we need or gas that we need. So it's going to affect every little store that's, that's around. Anything can be done. They can make it work. Besides being annoyed that there's no liquor store, it's annoying that they didn't have the courtesy to give us first-hand information. I've spoken to the Minister of Finance twice, written him two letters, and I have to say I'm quite disappointed. He's aware of the issue and has yet to respond. We don't want to live in a town that's dead. And this town's lived with that for 70 years. The closure of the liquor store has caused a huge inconvenience to us and our staff. Bottom line is, yeah, the Muddy Moose is paying extra. To, to supply alcohol and beer in this establishment. Basically what they're telling us is it sucks to be you. And in Northern Ontario, we're getting sick of being told it sucks to be you.